Namaste. Welcome to Beginner's Pranayama Session. Breath is a link between the body and the mind and Pranayama is the key to bring the mind into a calm and a centered state. Let's begin with centering. Being seated in Sukhasana, keep your spine long, roll the shoulders back, rest your palms on your thighs. Keep your eyes closed, facial muscles relaxed. Take few seconds to let go of all the distractions. And become aware of your breath. Feel the natural rhythm of your breath. As you feel your breath, Increase the length of your inhales and your exhales and be mindful of every breath you take. Make this as your last round. Join your palms in Namaskara, your thumb at your heart center. Let us chant Om for three times. Inhale. Bring your chin to your chest, open your palms, blink open your eyes, release your palms. Before we start the breathing, we'll do some few stretches which will help to breathe better. First, you interlock your fingers, place the palms behind the neck. Inhale, lift the chin up. Exhale, bring the chin to the chest and elbows closer. Inhale, lift the chin, press the back of the neck against the palms. Exhale, chin to the chest. Three more rounds. Inhale. Exhale, go with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Last round. Inhale, hold it here for three, two, one. Exhale. Press the chin to the chest. Stay here for three, two, one. Lift the chin up. Now we do some shoulder shrugs. Place the palms on your thighs. As you inhale, bring the shoulder closer to your ears. Tighten the shoulder muscles. Exhale. Drop the shoulders down. Four more rounds. Inhale. Tighten the shoulder muscles. Exhale down. Go with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last round. Inhale. Hold it here for three, two, one. Exhale and release. Next we do Parshva Sukhasana, lateral stretch. Place your right palm slightly away from the hip. Stretch the left arm up. First, you will keep both the arms straight. 
breathe in here breathe out bend the right elbow take the left arm over the head inhale same side exhale stretch the side body inhale exhale breathe in breathe out last round inhale exhale and hold it here for three two one inhale come back to center exhale release doing it on the left place the left palm slightly away from the hip stretch the right arm up keep both the arms straight first inhale exhale bend the left elbow take the right arm over the head inhale exhale three more rounds inhale exhale inhale exhale last round we hold inhale exhale and hold it here for three two one inhale come back to center exhale release turn around come on all fours keep your knees and your feet hip width apart toes tucked in knee and hip in one line wrist and shoulders in one line place the right palm behind the head as you inhale expand the chest look sideways exhale point the right elbow down same side inhale expand the chest exhale down inhale exhale breathe in breathe out last round inhale hold it here for three two one exhale release the right palm down doing this on the left side place the left palm behind the head inhale expand the chest exhale elbow down inhale exhale three more inhale exhale inhale exhale last round inhale hold it here for three two one exhale release the palms stretch the leg back lie down on your abdomen point your toes back keep your feet separated stretch the arms back press the palms down toes pointing back feet hip width apart we do dynamic here without lifting the arms press the palms down inhale lift the chest lift the legs off exhale down inhale exhale inhale exhale two more rounds breathe in breathe out last round inhale press the palms lift the chest hold it here for five four three two one exhale release release lift yourself up and come to any comfortable seated posture first practice we do is the kriya practice with which is a stimulating and a heating pranayama kapal bhati if you have high blood pressure medical conditions related to the heart and first 3 days of your cycle avoid this practice and focus on deep breathing kapal bhati we do 3 rounds it is passive inhalation and forceful exhalation where you contract your abdomen with every exhale just have a look once you will breathe in through the nostril when you breathe out you contract the abdominal muscles <laughs> when you do this don't move your shoulders don't crunch your face if you're doing it for the first time or new to the practice place the palm on the abdomen to feel the contractions rest of you roll the shoulders back both the palms in chin mudra tip of your thumb and your index finger touching rest them on your thighs keep your eyes closed 
observe your breath. First round of Kapal Bhati. We do it for 12 times. Count the cup mentally. Take a deep breath in and begin. End of 12. Stay still. Round 2. 15 pumps. Take a deep breath in. And start. End of 15. Exhale. And feel the sensations behind closed eyes. One last round. 20 times. Take a deep breath in. And begin. Exhale completely. Let your eyes remain closed. Stay with the sensations within you. Kapal Bhati or the skull shining practice improves metabolism, increases the digestive fire in your abdomen, reduces belly fat, and energizes your body. Gently blink open your eyes. The next practice is intercostal breathing or your thoracic breathing. For this, I want you to place your arms near the floating ribcage. Feel the last ribcage. Your thumb is facing back and rest of the fingers to the side. Elbows pointing to the side. Now with every inhale, you'll feel the sides of the ribcage expanding. And with every exhale, you feel the contraction. So expansion, contraction of the ribcage. We will do this for about a minute or two. Keep your eyes closed. Place the palms at the sides of the ribcage. Shoulders relaxed. Close your eyes. Inhale. Take a deep breath in. Expand the sides of the ribcage. As you exhale, feel the contraction. Continue this practice with closed eyes for few more rounds. After a few rounds, see if you can increase the length a bit more. Last five rounds. Slow down your breathing. Exhale. 
end of five, rest your palms on your thighs. And just observe how the mind feels, how the breath feels at this moment. Intercostal breathing improves the lung capacity and increases the oxygen supply. Gently blink open your eyes. The next practice is yogic breathing or sectional breathing where we breathe into three parts. One is your abdomen, one is your chest and your collarbone. Now as you inhale first you will feel the breath moving from the abdomen. So you expand the abdomen, your chest and collarbone. As you exhale first you will contract the collarbone the chest and the abdomen. The movement of the collarbone is very minimal. So just feel it. Place one palm on the abdomen, one palm on the chest. Keep your eyes closed, spine long. As you inhale, expand the abdomen, rise the chest and collarbone up. Exhale from the collarbone chest, draw the abdomen in. Inhale, expand the abdomen, chest, collarbone. Exhale, collarbone, chest, abdomen. Continue the practice for few rounds till I tell you to stop. And use only your nostrils to breathe. Increase the length of your breath. Last three rounds. End of three, release your palms on your thighs. Let the eyes remain closed. Just observe, do you feel a bit calmer? Do you feel a bit centered and grounded with less thoughts within you? Sectional breathing improves your breathing quality. It helps to curb cravings and strengthens the lungs. Gently blink open your eyes. The next practice is Anulom Vilom or Nadi Shodhana or Alternate Nostril Breathing. This practice is called as the King of Pranayama. This is one breathing technique which you need to incorporate in your everyday life. So we breathe in alternately through the nostril. Your left palm in Chin Mudra, turn it up, rest them on your thighs. Right palm, fold your index and your middle finger. First few counts, if you are new to the practice, keep your eyes open. Rest of you, close your eyes. Close the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left. Take a full breath in. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. 
close the right exhale left this is one round inhale left close exhale right inhale right close exhale left continue the practice on your own this practice will be a bit longer let the breath move very smoothly and be mindful of every breath few more rounds Once you exhale through the left nostril stop the practice and stay still Do you feel any subtle sensations within you Breath slowing down Thoughts being reduced Anulom vilom balances the right and the left hemispheres of your brain it balances your nervous system and detoxifies your body gently blink open your eyes the next practice is a cooling pranayama sheetkari if your body is heated you can practice this whenever you feel thirsty it quenches the thirst it's an anti aging practice and if you suffer frequently with ulcers mouth ulcers it will help to cool down and prevent for this you will clench your teeth don't press it too hard just press it enough so that air can pass through the teeth you will breathe in through the spaces of your teeth you'll close your mouth exhale through the nostrils so let your inhalations be long and slow you can just rest your palms on the thighs or palms in chin mudra keep your spine long shoulders relaxed close your eyes we begin the practice clench your teeth breathe in through the teeth close your mouth exhale through the nostrils inhale through the teeth close the mouth exhale through the nostrils continue the practice for few more rounds remember to keep your inhalations long and slow
last three rounds. End of three. Feel the sensations inside the mouth region, the coolness inside the mouth. Your mouth will feel a bit dry, which is normal, it will settle down. Gently blink open your eyes. The next practice is Kumbhaka. Kumbhaka means retention. What we do here is you will breathe in only a three-fourth of your lung capacity. Don't take a full breath in Hold the because we will be holding the breath. So you will breathe in three-fourth and then you hold your breath. When you hold your breath, you will bring your chin to your chest. It's called as the chin lock or jalandara bandha. Excellent for activating your thyroid gland. And whenever we lock, what happens? Once you release the lock, there is fresh supply of blood within the body. So both the palms and chin mudra, keep your back straight, eyes closed, just follow my instructions. Don't take a full breath in, breathe in to three-fourth of your lung capacity. Hold your breath, bring your chin to your chest. Stay here. If it's a struggle, lift the chin and exhale. Rest if you continue to hold for 10, 9, 9. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift the chin up and exhale. Give some time for your body to breathe on its own. Round 2. Inhale to 3 fourth of your lung capacity. Hold your breath, chin to your chest. 10, don't breathe. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift the chin up and exhale. One last round. Inhale. Hold the breath. Chin to the chest. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Lift the chin up and exhale. Let the body breathe on its own. Let the eyes remain closed, staying still. Whenever we do the lock or the bandha, there is retention of the prana, the life energy stops. And then when you release, there is fresh supply of blood rejuvenating the body the same time strengthening and improving the lung capacity open your eyes one last practice is brahmari or the humming bee breath inhale exhale through the nostrils when you exhale you constrict your throat muscles and make the sound of the humming bee here the exhalation is long and slow Mm. Inhale and the exhalation will be one round. We will do five rounds of it. End of five, you will release your palms. Close your ear lobes with your thumb. Place the first two fingers on top of your eyes. Your ring finger at the edge of your nostril. Your little finger to the sides of the mouth. 
Shanmukhi Mudra, start the practice. Feel the vibrations and sensations inside the head. Brahmari instantly calms the nervous system, helps to overcome stress and anxiety. Excellent practice for sleep related disorders. With closed eyes, turn around, lie down on your back for Shavasana. Separate your legs mat width apart, toes flopping to the side, arms away from the body, fingers naturally curled. For the next few minutes, stay connected to your breath without trying to control anything. Settle into the stillness of your breath. Take three deep breaths. End of three. Move your toes. Fingers. Head left to right, right to left. Legs together. Arms stretched over your head. Interlock your fingers. Give your body a nice long wake up stretch. Stretch the body. Release your arms. Bend your knees. Roll over to the right side. Stay there for a couple of breaths making a cushion with your right arm. With closed eyes, come up to a comfortable seated posture, keeping your spine long. Join your palms at your heart center. Express gratitude to your breath. Gratitude to Mother Earth for everything that we have. Let us end by chanting Loka Samhasta Sukino Bhavantu and three Shantis. Take a deep breath in. Loka Samhasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 
rub your palms place them on your eyes take your palms away with a few blinks look into your palms that brings us to the end of today's pranayama session i hope you're feeling relaxed and calm do let me know how you felt about today's session on our facebook community stronger together with cult home and don't forget to tag us on our instagram stories as well on cult transform plus until i see you in the next session Take good care of yourself. It's me, Shweta, saying Namaste. For more such workout videos, download the Calfit app now. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are Calfit.